Hey Dreamers, this is Jade and welcome back to my channel for another journal catch up. I am starting out in my weeks getting it decorated and set up for the week. Now as you can tell, this actually happened a few weeks ago. So yeah, I'm late. I gather all this together and then put it together in one video and then I keep doing the same thing because I'm in a constant state of catching up I'm putting that in air quotes <laughs> for you so yeah done with the decoration of the weeks and I definitely need to get caught up in this reading journal so I have these books that have been on my shelf for a while and I'm trying to get them out so I can replace them with other books that I know that I'm actually going to keep. Now these books are what they call gothic horror books and I picked them up from a used bookstore in my area called Fifth Street Books. They used to have a thing where every, I think it was like third Thursday or some, some day like that, every paperback book was like 25 cent a piece. They have since gone up in price and it's been quite a while since I've been to that bookstore. However, um, we used to go a lot and I have built up quite a stash that have just really been sitting on my shelves in um, boxes, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I am, like I said, trying to clear out a part of my shelf. So I've been trying to get through these um books these gothic horror books that I got while well, interspersing them with other books <laughs> so yeah um and some of them are really good and some of them are just like meh you know what I'm saying because there's um with these gothic romance especially from back in the 90s most of them were printed by zebra books they have the same type of theme on the covers this girl uh back in some kind of time period with like a long flowy dress running away usually from a house on a hill that is very near a cliffside and ocean or anything like that so it's just kind of a theme with this and as I said some of them are pretty good and some of them just kind of suck I like this one here that I was de um documenting but there's going to be like a couple more that come up and it's just like no now this is office hours by Katrina Jackson is the one with the very racy cover and I just put that there to hold the place because I haven't actually printed out the cover yet so what I like to do is um, kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be reading for the next month and then go ahead and print out the covers on glossy matte sticker paper from online labels um, but I put this I read this before I'm able to do that again I had already printed some stuff out so I didn't want to just waste paper I want to make sure I gather a whole lot of different book covers first before I do another print and cut um, so to hold the place so I know where to write I just um, cut down a piece of cardstock to two by three and so here's another one of those gothic why I keep saying gothic horror it's not gothic horror it's gothic romance did I say gothic horror anyway moving on here's another one I didn't really care for this one um yeah this was one that I was just like bleh, bleh. um I feel like um they just they're just so hit or miss and I think because I'm very very used to the um the formula of them that is just like sometimes I get into reading them and they're just like uh, I'm just kind of like rolling my eyes or whatnot and you can um it's very obvious they make very obvious of who the culprit or culprits are in the book so yeah moving on I think that is it for my book journal and now I am just doing some watercoloring in my daily journal because I like to have some pages ready so when I am actually going to do some da daily journal can I talk daily journaling um, there's something on the page already and I'm not just starting with a completely blank page and there, this is low stakes you know what I'm saying like I don't feel like I have to decorate this perfectly or anything like that there are some things where my perfectionism does very much kick in and some things where it's just like ah, I'm okay um, but this one yeah and here I'm using colors because I was expecting my Hobonichi my first Hobonichi order to come in soon and probably on the day that I will be using these pages so I decorated it in the covers from um, 
like closely matching the Hobonichi box that I saw from other people's hauls that were com coming in. So I used like that beigey color and the red. And I don't particularly care for a lot of the way my coloring turns out with this. And I'm starting to realize I think it really just depends on the um the watercolor set that I use. Like these I love these uh Kiritaki colors but I don't use them a lot so I'm not really used to them and um I don't I, ha I haven't um swatched anything with the um colors so sometimes it's a kind of a surprise of how they come out on the page anyway yada 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 so I am getting like a little rainbow down here and I don't quite get it all to fit um, when I'm going back up the other way, but it's fine. As I said, I'm just getting some color down. I'm not like overly pleased with these, but once like my writing goes down and whatever else that I decide to put down in my pages on that day, um, pictures, stickers, washi tape, um, lettering, whatever, it looks perfectly fine. So I'm not too bothered by it. As I said, low stakes. So yeah, I'm just getting some more color down and I am going to then after I'm watercoloring I think I get into updating my trash journal which I haven't done for quite a while So now I'm in my trash journal. As I said, I haven't updated this in quite a little bit. And I have been gathering stuff here and there. Actually, some of this stuff I wanted to actually use in like a creative journal spread. But it's been so long and the stuff is just sitting there. And I just want it out of the way. So I decided to stick it in my trash journal because I want to keep it. I want to keep the memory of it. I just don't want it sitting all random and willy-nilly on my desk or in other random places any longer so i am getting this stuff down this was a guidebook do y'all um well i guess i wonder if they still do okay i'm rambling and i went off on a tangent anyway i ended up getting a nook I used to be very very into the nooks from Barnes and Nobles I probably would still like them um, however at the moment I do have a fire which is what I read my um, ebooks on and I'm actually probably going to soon in the next few months get a paper white because I like the fire it's perfectly fine but it is heavy and sometimes just holding it hurts my arms and stuff and I'm sick of it I know the paper white is much um, lighter and so yeah I'll probably end up grabbing one of those soon and so yeah those things from pip sticks when I got all that washi tape um, it's just sitting there and because I'm so behind in my creative journal that it's going to take forever to get to the point where, oh, this is when I bought this so I can use this sticker to dick. Yeah, so it just needs to go. It needs to go. Um, so I'm getting it off and I'm just putting all of those like little stickers from shops and stuff, um, small shops that I just bought some things from on these pages here. So you got Pip Sticks, um, Planner Monkey Co., I think sunshine sticker studio i bought these books from sister sci-fi and then i recently purchased oh i love these things it's called an 
African something net or whatever. There's this girl on TikTok that sells these things and they stretch. And when I tell you, you can you can get your back, everything easy. It exfol- exfoliates, it lasts longer than um, loofahs. Loofahs, you need to ch- change out. Um, quickly this lasts up to two years you can wash them it's just great anyway so here I am just setting up a week in my magic of eye planner journal I don't particularly care for how I set this up because I don't get that triangle formation that I usually love and it just looks weird to me but anyway that wraps this up if you have any comments or questions leave those below I trust everyone is safe and well and I'll catch you in the next one bye